Hey guys, and welcome to World of Tanks. Today, I'm going to be, in the name of self-improvement, I'm going to be just looking at one of my old... Well, I say old, it's just a random World of Tanks replay I chose. It's from the current patch, it's from fairly recent. But what I did was I just randomly scrolled down, picked a replay, and I'm going to find all the good and all the bad from the replay, and hopefully encourage you know people to learn from their replays because that's what I want to be doing making sure I realize what I do well and what I don't because well quite honestly I suck at driving the E100 so I think it's quite appropriate that I use this tank in the gameplay so first things first we're here on what is this map let's take a look Kharkov I'm still no good with the map names and first thing I do that's a mistake I drive out in front of an E100 Oh, sorry, a Jagdpanzer E100, even more dangerously, and somehow I come away with my health intact. I've got no idea how I managed that, because luckily he shoots the building, and not only that, but I am able to put a shot into him. Now you'll notice in the chat there someone said fall back, which is actually something that I'm glad I did, because obviously if that E100 Jagdpanzer had chosen to push around the corner, he would have just shot me, and if I if I hadn't fallen back, and I wouldn't have had the fire support of those TDs, including the friendly Jagdpanzer E100, sitting behind me. I'm just a tiny bit off shooting that mouse, I waited for it to load a little bit too long, and what that meant was I wasn't able to get the shot into his side, which would have been helpful. I stick out, luckily I'm able to bounce a shot from the IS-4, Probably wasn't worth taking that shot there because he was already retreating into cover and I don't get the shot off. Now you'll notice I am not just driving straight around the front of the corner, I'm side scraping so I'm giving the enemy team as less of my tank to shoot it as possible. Now I push forward here because I notice that E100 is right up in the face of two tier 10 tank destroyers and I've no idea where the hell that shot went. That should have killed the object, but obviously not. Going for the object, because obviously I'd want to take out his gun as soon as possible. So now that friendly 100 only has one enemy tank staring at him, and he's also got that friendly IS-7 behind him. However, both are on very low health, so that's kind of concerning. I put a shot into the E-7. Ah! I keep calling... I can't call it by its actual name. I'm clearly not very much cut out for this commentary thing. The Jagdpanzer E100. I put a shot into him. That E100 is kind of in the way, so I see if I can get a shot. And before he can get his gun to bear on me, I turn all the way round. Now I rush forward here because that FE215B is coming around to shoot my friends. I definitely don't want him to finish off any of the three low health tanks, so that is a no go. And also, the Bat Chat has a much lower chance of bouncing a shot from him than me. If I can angle right, which I ended up not doing anyway, I could have bounced a shot, but I didn't, so at least it meant my friendlies weren't dead, which, you know, as it turns out, happened anyway. Put a shot into the Leopard, not sure what his plan was there. Um, now I'm angling, notice I'm angling my turret as well, because that the flat part of the turret is very uh, susceptible to especially gold rounds and also I've no idea how I didn't take a shot there I was over angling a lot um, and if he just shot me in the side I'm pretty sure that shot would have gone in luckily he didn't so now that leaves me with the chance to shoot him I'm falling back because I don't want I want to be able to control the engagement if I fall back I can only be getting shot at by the IS at most. Now look here again. Look at the over angling. Look at, look at, hang on, just pause this. If you're the, he's where I'm aiming, yes? So look, look at, look at how, I, does that not look like a juicy target for you to shoot at? That's, it's worrying that I'm going around corners like that. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I want to be going around aimed, angled maybe like this. Especially with the turret. Keeping the turret angled like that gives it much less chance. You can see there, a uh, shot went in, so yeah. No idea what the hell I was thinking there. That was stupid by me, quite frankly. Now I go around again, because, you know, all those tanks there, low health, I'm not. I can take a shot for them, 
and that's important because we want to keep our guns in the game. Mouse, we've got the side of the mouse tower, but the 100 jumps in front of us, and by the time we get a shot, he's turned around and okay, another tank is driving around. And I'll try to put them now, there's just no point really. Mouse is too well armored, he's well angled as you can see, so I try to put a shot behind him into the IS 7. I assume he's going to keep driving, but he doesn't, he stops to take a shot at the bat chat, so I can't get a shot into him. Can we though get up close to the mouse and oh, the object 268 finishes him off? But we've not had a bad game all in all. We've got 12. 12? No, that's the team's kills. As a single tank, we've got three of the team's 12 kills. 2000 damage, not bad, but there's definitely some worrying signs there with my ability to angle this tank. I. Absolutely no clue what I was doing there. Shot goes a bit high there and hits the upper plate and as soon as you start shooting at the upper plate of an eyes that's never going in. And now as you can see by the bat Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. Oh, what a low quality video this is gonna be. Oh well, I can always edit that out. Uh where was I? Sorry, yeah, no, they're all over there on the other side of the map. I've got no chance of getting to them, so this looks like how the game is going to end up. Not a bad game. I did some good things. I would like to think I played well in the regards to helping out my team, getting in front of them, trying to stop them from taking damage, uh, especially because I am still on half health here, and you know, keeping teammates alive is a lot more preferable because if you start letting your teammates die, that's how you start to lose games. So I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. If you have, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more and also the notification bell because, you know, everyone wants to know the second I upload a video because obviously these are the highest quality videos that you just can't miss out on. That was, you know, sarcasm in case you didn't realise. Okay, until next time folks, hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time. Peace!